bath bomb hazards. Welcome or welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube channel. If this is your first time visiting, hi, welcome. My name is Sierra and I'm an American living in England. Every week I make a video about my family's life here or whatever it is we happen to be doing on the weekly. As you guys can tell by the title of today's video, we're going to be doing part two of my Lush Boxing Day haul, which is a long story, but I decided to do a haul both from the UK and from Lush Canada. So I have a beautiful box, not a big one, but just a small box that's really full, actually feels really heavy for its size of products that I picked up and waited for three weeks for delivery. Um, if you guys are watching this video after my part one video, um, this box came in the mail literally like two days after that box and we're gonna open it up and see what's inside. Also, as I mentioned in the last video, I am not gonna be doing a description of all of the scents unless it's something that I didn't purchase in my Christmas haul video, in which case I'll describe it, but otherwise I'll put my Christmas haul video up here um, so you guys can check it out because I bought mostly a lot of the same products there. So anyways, yeah, let's just get into this. I'm very excited. So the first item fresh out of the box appears to be, I think it's a bubble bar. This is one of my favorites that came actually for the Halloween range, but it is the Labyrinth Bubble Bar, which is such a pretty color and it's Lord of Misrule. If you guys have been around for a while, you know what it is. Okay. Let's move on to the next item, and it is the Hot Toddy Shower Gel. It's one of my favorite new, well, it's not a new bee, but it's one of my favorite products Lush has come out with. It's just so delicious and cozy. Okay, next item in the box is actually a product that was a North America Christmas exclusive, but it is the White Elephant Bath Bomb. If you guys don't know what White Elephant is, White Elephant is a game um, that's typically played at Christmas around North America. I've also heard it called Dirty Santa. Um, basically what it is, is it's a gift exchange game, and some people love it, people in my family hate it and it always results on someone crying sometimes children sometimes adults but my extended family plays it every Christmas but anyway um this year they came out with a little white elephant bath bomb probably to play homage for the game which if I was playing the game I would definitely pick one of these up and bring it so let's give it a sniff because I didn't get a chance to try it this year yet hmm I don't even really know what that smells like it's got like a very like clean, fresh smell, it's like fresh linen. Like not actual linen, but like, you know, products that are fresh linen scented, that's what it smells like to me. It's almost like florally, but also like really clean smelling, which I like. According to the insert in my box, um, the main ingredients in White Elephant are all of usual bath bomb stuff, but the scents are Jasmine Absolute, Oris Oil, Myrrh Resinoid, and Ylang Ylang Oil. So. Now that I re-smell it, I definitely smell the myrrh in there now. Okay, moving on to the next product, we have a Snow Dragon bath bomb. I love this one because he has his little diamonds on his butt. He's really cute. Oh, and he smells so good. It's like be the best scent ever, okay? Now, moving on to the next item is... Oh my gosh, this is not in good condition at all. It looks already like it's a couple of years old, but it is the Shoot for the Stars bath bomb, which I got a couple of them in my um, other... Boxing in a haul, but I didn't buy any of this year for Christmas. Next product is another bath bomb. You guys are noticing a trend. This is mostly bath bombs. Um, and it is the Sleepy Bear bath bomb, which is the sleepy scent. So it's sweet lavender and vanilla. And I did not buy any of these this year, um, just because I already had a couple in my storage. But I really like this one. And also this year, I think they changed it a little. And I think it has um, cocoa butter in it, which is extra moisturizing. So that's even better than it was before. Moving on to my next item, which apparently is almost completely crushed, which is very sad. But um, this, the item is a Milsoon, Milsune bath bomb. It should not look like this. It looks like someone stopped on it. But um, I think I have a photo of one that I bought like a while ago. If not, I'll find one just on the internet, but it's supposed to look like this. I know this one isn't a Christmas product, but I picked this one up because um, I really, really liked it when it came out from the Harajuku location. I think I've had two or three since then and it just smells so good. Moving on to the next item is a set. Well, it's not actually a set, but I kind of turned it into a set of three um, bonfire bath bombs. Bonfire bath bomb, of course it just comes, you know, in the one, but I ordered three of them because it's probably my favorite product that came out for the Christmas range this year. It is a beautiful, warm, cozy scent, which is cinder. It's one of my favorites. So I really love it and I had to get as many as possible, so I got three. I tried to get four in my cart, but that didn't go so well, so I quickly changed my number to three and I was able to check out. Alright, moving on to the next item is 
a soap. I think this might be the only soap in the entire haul. Um, and it is the Golden Pear Soap. And mine, it looks like, has had kind of a rough journey. But, I mean, it did come all the way to the UK from Canada. So, but Golden Pear Soap is the only one of those ones I didn't pick up this year. And it is, of course, you know, pear scented. And I can only smell it a little bit through the packaging. There we go. Oh, it smells so good. It just honestly smells like fresh pears, like pear jam, and I just love it. And now it looks like we are on our final item, which is very sad, but it may be the best item in the entire box because it's probably my, it's probably my favorite seasonal product, but my second favorite in the range, I don't know, it doesn't matter. It is the Lord of Misrule bath bomb, which I actually have one right there in my background, so... You guys know what it smells like. It's more of this roll and it's delicious. So yeah, that's it. Um, I think my box is completely empty now, except for a bunch of packing peanuts that are always on my office floor. Every time I make a Lush video, I throw peanuts over my entire floor and I have to clean them up for 10 minutes. So don't know what that's about. But anyways, um, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, please let me know what your favorite product is in the comment section and subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Happy Christmas. Happy New Year. I don't know, whatever. Okay, bye.